Hello, welcome to the video on how to divide f of x divided by g of x. Now, it sort of looks like this, 8x squared minus 6x plus 3 over 2x plus 1. That's how it's going to look like probably if it's written down for you, depending on your teacher. We're going to make a little dividing sign and we are going to make sure this top part goes right here and this bottom part goes right here so we're going to throw that in as 8x squared minus 6x plus 3 divided by 2x plus 1. so we're going to to get the first number on top, we're going to take 2x times 4x. Because 2x times 4x is equal to 8x squared. The reason why we're getting that answer is to make this answer identical to that answer. Because that's the goal. Now the rest order falls into place. You then take the 4x times the 1x. So 4x times 2x, 4x times 1. We take 4x times 1, which is positive 4x. Now, we do something nifty. We multiply everything in there times a negative. So that becomes a negative. That becomes negative. So these two cancel out and you have negative 6x minus 4x so you can take out your calculator you can do that in your head it's negative 10x and you drop down this uh, 3 right here and you get negative 10x plus 3. now we're not done yet we have to kind of like how we did up here we found what matched equals 8x squared we have to find what matches to equal negative 10x. So, we are going to do that by taking this lovely looking 4. We're going to take this negative 10x and we're going to say, hey, what times 2x is equal to negative 10x? Well, negative 5 is equal. So we take the negative 5 times 2 and negative 5 times the 1 so we have negative 5 times 2x is equal to negative 10x remember we're matching now we take five, negative 5 times 1 is equal to negative 5 so we multiply everything in there times a negative so we have these 10x's canceling out because negative 10 plus 10 is equal to 0 and we have um, 3 plus 5, which is equal to 8. Now, this is the remainder. And this is the answer. We're going to write it as 4x minus 5 plus 8 over 2x plus one and that's your final answer but if you're wondering where i got the eight over two x plus one this is where i got it from i took the eight and i put it right here and i took this two x plus one and i put it right here then i took this four x minus five and I put it right here and i added these together that right there is your final answer. Hopefully this video helped you out, and I hope that you understood it. If you have any questions for me on similar questions, just either either send me uh, an email on YouTube or leave a message in the comments, and I'll try to work the problem for you and try to help you out. Thanks, and have a nice day.